Yeah, thanks. Um, I don't know if this is many people's first storytelling show, but they're not all like this. Um, this is an extremely well-produced show. Um, let's hear for Drew. Like, really, really, very impressive. Um, this is how it's supposed to be done. This is really, really, I mean, very, very impressed and impressed with the fellow storytellers. Um, I'm originally from New Hampshire, and um, in fourth grade, I was a latchkey kid. And um, a typical day, I would uh, come home from school, and I'd, uh, I'd make tang. I wanted to be an astronaut when I uh, was little, and uh, astronauts uh, supposedly drink tang. I Wikipedia that, and uh, I'd make my tang, and uh, I'd uh, turn on the TV, and I'd put on uh, Days of Our Lives. Uh, Days of Our Lives, underrated show. Uh, there's a, uh, a guy on that show named Patch. They call him Patch, and he wears an eye patch. And um, I, I, I had a pirate costume, and I, I, I threw everything away but the patch, so when I would watch it out of um, love for this character, I would always wear my patch. And um, I wore it sometimes to school, and kids would be like, are you a pirate? I go, no, I'm Patch from Days of Our Lives. No, the, the teacher knew, but nobody else knew. <laughs> so my parents would come home after a hard day's work, and they'd see me with an eye patch I didn't need, drinking Tang, like a big thing of Tang, <laughs> and uh, watching a soap opera. And they, they're like, we, we got to do something for this poor boy. <laughs> so one night they, they went for a drive, and when they came back, uh, They brought home Peaches, and Peaches was this little cat. She was a little kitten, and she was multicolored, and she had little white paws, so it looked like she had sneakers. So she would run, and uh, she had a white mane with a little black dot right here, and, and we used to say uh, she looked like Marilyn Monroe if she, if she were a cat. <laughs> and immediately they put her on the floor, and I got scared. I'm scared of things. And she ran towards me, and I tried to run away. I was like in the corner. And she just started rubbing against my, my leg. And, uh, and everything changed after that. And I knew I had a new best friend. So I would come home, and I'd still make my tang. Uh, but I'd give Peaches a little treat, and then we would go outside. And uh, there was like three empty lots by our house. And we'd play like hide and go seek, and we'd you know, go around, and then she'd chase me. And, and I'd catch her. And when I would catch her, she was so small, I would just like to rock her like a little baby. And then I would lift her above my head, you know, and uh, she would purr, you know, and she would purr really, really loud, and she was just a happy cat. And she would purr so much, and her body would be, like, vibrating that literally she would have to bob back and forth, bob back and forth. <laughs> and then I'd hold her up, and uh, when I look back at my uh, childhood years, those were, like, the happiest moments I had. But Peaches had a dark side. <laughs> At night, my mom would, would let her out in those same fields, and Peaches was different at night. Uh, she would catch these field mice, kill them with her mouth, and then decapitate them with her mouth, and leave the heads on our doorstep. And, uh, <laughs> And it was disgusting. I'm, I'm, I have a very sensitive stomach. The, the sausages tonight were terrific, but typically, like, I, 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 they're not, they digested well, so that's a compliment to the cooks. Uh, but I have a very weak stomach, and I'd see these heads, and I'd start dry heaving, and, and you know, it was just really, and my father would be like, stop it. i go, yeah, but Dad, he goes, stop it. You know why Peaches does this. I'm like, no. He's like, because Peaches loves you. That she's going to show you that she loves you, right? I go, oh, she like loves us. He goes, no, she loves you. I go, oh. Now, my dad's a middle school principal. He's not a psychiatrist. Uh, <laughs> but it worked. He convinced me. Never got grossed out again. I'd see the heads. I'd be like, where is she? Oh, you did a nice job. You did a nice job, Peaches. <laughs> and sometimes I would kiss her on the lips. I did. I got excited. Not excited like that. I just was happy for her. Please, it's not going there. It's not going there. But she was such a good cat. 
So fast forward to my high school years, I, 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 I had some problems uh, socially, um, go figure. Um, but I was a very optimistic kid and I was just kind of waiting for my big break. Like when is it gonna happen? And I'm a junior in high school, I'm eating lunch, it's winter time, I'm eating lunch with my friend Fetus. I had a friend called, he went by the nickname Fetus, he was a little kid, he looked like a fetus. And we're eating lunch and, hey Fetus, how you doing? He's like, good, how you doing? What's happening? What, what's the latest Fetus? What's going on, buddy? And he's like, ah, I got some good news. I go, what do you got Fetus? He goes, I was shoveling snow last night. And just right off the bat, I'm trying to picture him shoveling, I mean, he's like a Keebler elf and he's, he's gonna be, Shoveling snow, I go, all right, and he goes, and Bonnie Sanders came over. And I'm like, Bonnie Sanders, yeah. He goes, and he, she started asking questions about you. I'm like, really? What, what, what you? And he goes, well, the Winter Wonderland dance is next Saturday. She wants you to ask her. I was like, and then he slides over the phone number, and it was like these squiggly lines and her number, Bonnie. And like, this was my big break. This was gonna happen. And I was just so excited. I go, Fetus, you're the best. He goes, no, you're the best. I go, come on, I, you're, you're the best. You Popularity-wise in high school at that time, if uh, popular was a 10 and one was not popular, I was like a two. But Bonnie was like a four. So this was gonna be a bit, she was co-captain of the softball team. Um, she was a, uh, a senior, so she was, she was an older woman. And, um, and they used to have, she had a nickname, she was the Kissing Bandit. She kissed, them, she, liked, she just liked to kiss, she kissed a lot of guys. And for me, up to that point, I'd kiss one girl in junior high, and I, I'm not gonna lie, like uh, I have a, they could be here all night, I threw up on her. Um, it did not go well. I mean, it went well, but it didn't go well for her. I mean, you know, I mean, she was not happy. She was not happy, she was not happy. I was great, but until the, 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 I go, was it, she's not, no, it was awful. So, um, so that night, I'm, I'm, I'm taking notes, and um, I'm at the, at the phone, and, and I call, and, and Bonnie answers the phone, and I say, uh, Bonnie, uh, this is Adam Wade. She's like, hi, Adam. I'm like, uh, I look at my notes. I go, my mom made shepherd's pie tonight. You know, too much Hamburg. You know, I got a sensitive stomach. She just put so much Hamburg. She's like, oh, okay, and I'm like, shh, and so I look, and then I'm like, uh, I wear a winter hat, I wear a winter hat, and in my time, New Hampshire's freezing, no one ever wears winter hats, but I always wore a winter hat, so I felt like now's the time to tell her why, I go, I wear a winter hat, because like, I got big earlobes, and my mom says, like, wear a winter hat to cover the earlobes, because you don't want to get frostbite, and my mom told me, you know, Bonnie, like, because like, someday, my, my earlobes are going to be sexy, you know. She's like, what? So then I, 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 I panic, I go, the, my number, I go, regarding Henry, regarding Henry. She's like, what? I go, regarding Henry, it's a great movie. Have you ever seen it? It's a great movie. There's a puppy in it and everything. She's like, why are you calling me? And I go, do you want to go to the Winter Wonderland? And she's like, yeah, you should have just asked. Why are you talking about all this stuff? And I'm like, well, I'm like pitter-patter, you know, pitter -patter. She's like, I go, well, do you want to go? She's like, yes, I'll, you know, pick me up on Saturday night. I go, time out, we're going. We're officially going. You said yes, but can you pick me up? Because I get nervous when I drive. It's my mom's car. She's like, I'll pick you up Saturday night, 7.30. I go, you're a nice girl. Okay, bye. And I hung up, and I was like, that's it. Got it. Sealed the deal. I go into the, the family room. I go, mom and dad, I have a date with a girl. Very surprised. They were very, very surprised. <laughs> and my mom took me to Filene's. We got a clip-on tie, because I don't like the nooses, and we, we got a sport coat, ready to go. Saturday night, Bonnie shows up. Black suede dress, pink bustier. Wow, and my father's sitting there, he's like, wow, where did you get that dress? Fredericks of Hollywood? I'm like, whoa, whoa, dad, stop, dad, 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 stop. He's like, all right, come on now, come on now. So we start taking photos, and we're taking photos. My mom's taking the photos. It's me and Bonnie, and uh, Peaches is at the, at, the, at the kitchen table. She's like in a little ball, and she's just like looking. Like, she's like staring at Bonnie, and Bonnie's like, why is your cat staring at me like that? I'm like, oh, I, I don't know. I don't. And my father butts in, and he's like, she's jealous. She's jealous because Peaches is Adam's sister. She's like, jealous. There's another woman in the house. And I look at Bonnie, and she's like, that is like, the cutest thing I've ever heard. So I go to my dad, like, more and more. He goes, well, she's also jealous 
because Peaches is Adam's girlfriend. <laughs> I know. So we go to the dance, it's nice. They got tin foil all over and pink ribbons. It's in the basement slash cafeteria of the school. And you know, I've only been to dances with Fetus, so I don't dance. And then all of a sudden, um, there's a song called um, I'll Do Anything for Love, But I Won't Do That by, by Meatloaf. <laughs> and that came on. So I go to dance with her and I hold her like this. And she's like, what are you doing? I go, yeah, we're dancing, we're dancing. And I'd never danced with a woman besides my mother, my grandmother, and my aunt. She's like, you can get closer. I was like, oh, okay. She's like, we're not 12 anymore. I go, oh, no, no, we're not, we're not. So we get closer and then I, I get very nervous. So I just start dancing with her like this. She's like, well, what are you doing? And I'm like, I got, I got like a little boner. She's like, what? I go, I got, I got like a little boner. And she's like, that's natural. That's okay. I go, okay. So we were dancing. Now, just full disclosure, I was a little immature for my age, and my parents were afraid that anything was gonna happen to me. So I wasn't able to take health class till my senior year, which was the following year. So I didn't actually know how, uh, what, you know. And uh, there was a few girls in my school that were pregnant, like a lot. I don't know, in New Hampshire, they don't use contraception. A lot of girls were pregnant. So like, I, I did not, like my whole life's ahead of me. I don't wanna get her pregnant at the dance. So like, <laughs> my, Penis area was like on her hip slash butt cheek. So I kind of danced like this and she was okay. Like I, when I say, oh, she, I did not, I did not impregnate her. Uh, we're, we're, we're driving, we go get pizza after, Pappy's pizza, a lot of pepperoni. It was, it was I only had a little slice because it was something. And then she pulls up in front of my house. And this is it, this is like, this is it. Kissing Bandit, Adam Wade. And, and we're there, and I'm like, oh shit, oh, no. it's like really happening. And I just like freeze, and I just start sweating, like sweat, my arms, everything's just sweating. And she looks at me, like, and leans, like, like are you gonna kiss me or what? And, and I go, eh. and she's like, what are you doing, are you okay? I go, eh, yeah, and, and like, I go, and, and, and like, she, like, just, and finally I, I just say, I go, can I give you a kiss? And she gets like about this close, she reeks pepperoni, which was a turn on at that time. <laughs> and she says, I, I'd love to, but I just couldn't do that to peaches. <laughs> so like I black out. I, when I say black, I don't know, like I'm just outside the car, the car is driving off, and I'm like, what the, what, what just happened? Like that, like that, no, like kissing, like, and then I just start crying. I'm not good at a lot of things. I'm very good at feeling bad for myself. So crying, crying, crying. I'm sobbing and, and I'm just sitting there for like about five minutes just like at the curb. And then I just start walking, trudging through the snow. And I get to the doorstep. There's not one, there's not two, there's five heads. There's these <laughs> field mice, it's a massacre, it's blood. There's like green worm, it, it, it's, it's her, the veins of the, they're just going back and forth. Like I thought that was just with worms. This is a, this is a, a, a and, I, and, and like, and, and then I can hear above me is like thud, 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 thud. And we live in a split level house and I look up and there's in the big window, Peaches is there and she's on the inside and she's looking down at me and she's just going like this with the little nose against the window. She's, just, she's, she's, and you know she's purring because she's bobbing, you know, she's going back and forth. She's going back, and, and I'm just like, oh. And like, I'm still crying, but uh, it's like tears of joy. It's tears of joy, and they're just coming down. And, uh, but you know like when you take like a shot of whiskey and, it, and, it, and it's warm, like that's how it feels. And I just stay out there uh, for hours. I stay out like about two and a half hours. My mother came out and go, what the hell, you're gonna get pneumonia. In my life, there's been a lot of Bonnies. But there'll never, ever be uh, another Peaches. Yeah, thank you.